Hey guys, I'm back with another unboxing video. I just stopped off at Toys R Us and found this insanely cool Jeep Gladiator. I totally wanted it the second I saw it. Um, I've been seeing photos and whatnot online, but I've never actually seen one out of box or in person. So I was actually quite surprised at the size of it. It's huge. Um, compared to the normal Jeep, it is uh, massive. So we'll actually take a look at that after it's unboxed, obviously. but. What really caught my eye was the uh, uh, Draco Rex there in the corner, which is basically just like same colors as Dino Rivals, the uh, 2019 toy line. But something's very off. You can see it's got no articulation. It is a single piece of plastic and um, the details, it's very shiny. It's a different type of plastic than what you'd see in Mattel figures, I'm pretty sure. Um, and I don't think it has a scan code but we'll see. I, that's like very, very interesting to me. Um, another little detail there, you can see on the remote control, it says Hot Wheels RC, and on the package it says Matchbox. I'm pretty sure Hot Wheels handles all of the remote control um, components to the franchise. So um, you see the RC's branded Hot Wheels, but the actual set is a Matchbox RC set. Very odd. Um, I think original concepts and um, leaked photos of this toy showed the InGen logo on the side, but we can see it adorns the Jurassic World logo from the first Jurassic World movie. Kind of weird, not the biggest fan, but whatever, it is it is what it is. Um, I'm also interested to see how those capture claws work. You can see on the package that um, you drive up to the Draco Rex and the claws clamp down. I'm not sure if the remote control clamps them down or just the act of hitting something activates them. Um, but you can see that they're attached in some way to the front. I don't know if it's magnetic or by clips. Um, but that to me signifies that maybe it's more of a ram action that sets off the, uh, the claws. So we'll see how powerful they are too. Uh, if they can pick up other figures. Um, but yeah, so we'll get this bad boy out of the box. I don't know if it has batteries. It says durable. Wow, okay. Um, motor skills fuels imagination. That's pretty cool. Um, and the box art is just like usual. So we'll cut into it. This time I got my scissors, did not forget. Um, now this one, I think it was 65 ended up costing like $70 Canadian. Um, not that bad for what you get in the set. I think they tried reducing the price of the set by including uh, a cheaper dinosaur, like cheaply made. Okay. Oh, the background is Malta. That's so cool. Wow. Okay, and the instructions are at the bottom here. Um, I like that the Drake Rex comes with a stand. That's pretty neat. The legs are a different position, same with the tail, um, than the original mold, so that's that's pretty neat. Um, don't drive it on the road, and don't drive it in the heat, or through water. Okay, that's a pretty straightforward manual. And uh, you can put figures inside, it shows now this is very particular. It shows the Owen figure from the Gyrosphere set, and then the Claire figure, um, which is also featured in the new Gyrosphere set. Um, but that Claire's from the first toy line, so we're getting a, uh, a retool um, set up. I hope it comes with batteries. I'll have to do a second video. If it doesn't come with batteries, I'll, um, I'll make a second video on how it like drives and stuff. So, hopefully it's just held in by these little spring, these little, uh, elasticies. So let's get the Draco Rex out first. Oh, it is heavy actually, what the heck? Okay, so it's solid plastic. I was expecting it to be hollow, um, but it's actually solid plastic. Yeah, it's not hollow at all, wow. Um, that's very neat. Um, so I'll grab the Draco Rex. You can see very, very, very similar. Um, yeah, there's no scan code. 
I think it might be able to come out of the the thing. Maybe not. I think it might be glued. Yeah. Um, but you can see the arms are more bent on the uh, the solid figure. Um, the heads less detailed. Um, I think it's the same size. Yeah, it's roughly the same size. So it's less detailed. It might be just slightly bigger. Um, the neck doesn't have paint like the original does, but the paint job roughly, um, roughly resembles the original with the kind of brown black on the, the head. And you can see the fork pattern there is kind of reminiscent of the fork pattern there, etc. So just like a, a vague sort of repaint. And you can see the blotches too. It's like they tried to match up where these two butt end blotches were and then the midsection. Yeah, so that's pretty neat. And I like how the legs are uh, completely different. You can see it's more in a forward stride compared to the original and it's back one. They decided to put it all the way out instead of a neutral pose. I actually like this walking position. It's very dynamic. Um, and the tail's curved, unlike the original, which is also really neat. It gives the animal more of a like lifelike walking stance. Um, and I think the feet are a bit longer too, which is kind of weird because it doesn't need big feet to stand. Um, but yeah, very heavy piece, like <laughs> solid plastic heavy, where I don't think yeah, it's heavier than the original. Um, so that's really neat. And yeah, of course, it's held in by these things. So let's just twist those. Oh, that wasn't too bad. Okay, so we got the vehicle out. Um, what's holding this in? Okay, there's more of these weird turning things. We'll get rid of the... The packaging's really neat. Like, wow, there's little bricks behind the uh, the floor even. You can see fallen down like into a crevice. Kind of reminds me of like a uh, drainage canal on the side. Uh, that's pretty cool. So, put the package over there. Um, we'll clean up our place a little bit, tidy it. Okay. So let's see how this function works. I don't think they have batteries. This feels pretty light. Yeah, no batteries. Oh, that's a weird button. Okay, so the front, let's see. Um, I'm assuming it's, I should probably read the instructions. From what this is giving me the vibe of, it, the car has to ram it, so I'll put these back and then they'll get stuck in this little plastic bit. So these little wings hold the, the arms in, and then this bumper on the front, when you press it, the arms close down. So it is a mechanism where the vehicle rams into something and then the arms close in. Um, Owen in there, got a little cardboard cut out of Owen. He's, I think he's taped to the chair. Just gonna leave him in there. They literally just printed out a picture of the toy onto the cardboard. It's got a really big tire on the back here that rotates and it's an actual tire. Like it isn't just plastic. Um, you can feel the rubber on it and everything. That's pretty neat. Um, I think the back end has something to do with taking it off. Again, I'll look at the instructions, but a basic demo is you have your little Draco Rex Oh my god, it's snout level, and, uh, okay. Oh, I gotta act, okay, I'll hold both. There, and then grabs it. Um, it's a perfect size, the, uh, the arms kind of clamp around the leg a bit, um, and I think you can drive around with the dinosaur too, which is kind of neat. Um, but this should work on like the small scale mainline dinosaurs pretty well. So, ow, there's <laughs> some compatibility. That actually kind of hurt, uh, it hit my nail um, right here, yikes. Yeah, so there's some force to that. I'm gonna willingly put myself in the line of danger. 
child's toy danger. Um, yeah, so I like this feature of the arms. It said you can take it off. I'm not sure how, though. Um, where did the instructions run off to? Um, let's see. Reach, reattach as shown. Well, how do you take it off, though? <laughs> or drive the... There's claws attached. Hmm. It doesn't say anywhere that I know. It just shows battery setup. Um. Bump into the dinosaur to activate the claws. Oh, it's supposed to be butt end, not head end. Whoops. Um. Yeah, I don't know how you attach. The attaches. Is he just clipped on? I don't want to break it. Oh, you just pull it forward, I guess. Forward and down. Um, that's what I did. So, yeah, these little clips here hold it in. So, pulling it down would take it off. But it looks nice without the... Uh, the claws on it as well, it just hooks up to this bumper part. Okay. Um, now with the claws off, we'll compare it to the original Jeep. Arguably smaller tires. Actually doesn't look too bad next to it. Um, it's a bit smaller in height, but um, I know these Jeeps are smaller compared to like other Jeeps nowadays. <laughs> um, yeah, no, it looks good. It actually doesn't look bad at all. It's a good comparison. Um, it looks pretty natural and normal next to this guy. Um, we do have the uh, this big vehicle, <laughs> um, Capture and Crush Truck. Um, they're pretty nice together. The colors somewhat match. They're not completely the same color, um, but I do like the sandy uh, beige of both of them. They're both the same height, but of course the Jeep is, that's how much longer it is. Um, just like about roughly more than a quarter, um, a third of the uh, tire is covered by the truck when they're side by side, which is nice. Um, so there's a little bit of photo compatibility, I guess. Now if we compare it to the original RC Jeep, it also has length, but they're both the same height. That does not look normal. Um, okay, I do like the non-remote control Jeep better compared to it. And then the Ford Explorer is um, shorter than the, uh, the Jeep and um, not as tall. Okay, it'd be cool to get a remote control version of this. That would be sick. Could fit the battery and stuff in the back, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, no, and it can fit, I think, like five figures in it, which is really nice. There's a, uh, a fifth seat right there, and uh, it's hockey night, oh my god. This is what we get for living in Canada. Oh, there's no foot room, oh my goodness. <laughs> Where are, where's the leg room? That's crazy. I guess everyone has to sit like, what? Okay. Um, hmm. Interesting concept. So there's no leg room for the back seats. There is leg room for the front. Um, okay. Oh, and the characters fit really nicely in the front. Why not the back, though? I guess you can fit, like, maybe younger characters or something. Oh, and there's Owen. They even included his legs. That's crazy. Um, let's put the actual Owen in there. Is it even him? It might be, no, yeah, it's got the jean part of the leg, yeah. Kind of looks like the original Owen by the color, but I think it's got the same jean details. Now let's see if we can seat him in there even with his little utility tool. Yeah, there we go. Oh, they fit well in there. That's awesome. 
Um, but yeah, the back seats, you can wedge figures in there, but there's no leg room, so good, good luck trying to fit three in. Um, but yeah, no, very, uh, very sturdy vehicle, pretty heavy. Um, I like the tire texture. It's pretty neat that they have the rubber, even on the back tire, too. Um, and the whole function with capturing dinosaurs, it's very reminiscent of the old Kenner capture vehicle, so I'm glad they incorporated it into like this newer non-fantasy vehicle um not just having you know the capture and crush truck being the main sort of thing going on I'm trying to reattach this huh can't seem to stick the thing back on oh okay i see i see what's going on so you pull down forward to take it off like that and then you have to like hook it back on from the bottom. Um, something like that. I had it before. There we go, yeah. Wow, that's complicated. They should really explain that on the back. Um, but no, I'll put batteries in this guy today and I'll do some videos of it out and about and I'll see if we can catch different dinosaurs of different sizes. This makes no sense. The tail is going under the, uh, the thing. How does... <laughs> there we go. Yeah, so we'll test it out. We'll see how it works. But overall, it's a fantastic set and I highly recommend getting it. I'd love to know if you have seen it in stores before. I haven't really been keeping up with this set in specific. I'm pretty sure it's out in the States. I've seen a lot of photos of it online, so uh, people are getting it, but it's definitely out here in Canada. So if you know you live up here, um, just check out your local Toys R Us and they may or may not have it. Um, definitely worth it, really fun set. Love the Drake Rex as well, even if it's a cheap single piece. Very unique. Mattel's never given us a non-scan code solid piece larger dinosaur like this in a mainline set um so that's crazy but i love it um so i hope you guys enjoyed and thank you so much for watching be sure to check out my other videos and i'll see you in the next one Bye bye